everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a little sister and big daddy cupcake toppers. I actually do this for a living. Um, I actually quit my job and started my own Etsy shop making the decorations only. Um, check me out, I'd appreciate it. My website is in the description box. And I wanted to start with a Bioshock theme because Bioshock is one of my favorite games of all time. So first we are going to do the little sister. Um, so first I roll out a gray and black piece of fondant. I use a 2 inch square cutter to cut out one circle for each color. Now moving on to the hair, I use my same circle cutter to cut out a piece of what will be her bangs. And the other smaller piece that was left out, I cut that out too. So it should end up looking like this. And I attach everything down with just a bit of water. And I also roll out a tiny ball of gray fondant for her butt nose. And then I use this tool that's like a curved toothpick and I use it to impress a smile. Then I use a rectangular cutter that I have and I cut two pieces of this out. I fold them in half hot dog style and then I take the two edges and squeeze them down towards the center. And I do the same for the other piece and this will give you a bow. I add a bit of water on her hairline and attach her bow. And then I add a bit of water on the center and roll out a piece of white fondant and attach that on the center. And there we have our little sister. So next is the big daddy and we will break him up into three parts. We will start off with the rolled piece of brown fondant. And I score the center of my brown ball and then poke holes where the yellow eyes will go. And then I roll some yellow fondant out and place them where I poke my holes. Next I roll up four of these thin pieces of brown fondant and I attach them to the head piece. One on the top, one in the center, and one in the bottom. the saw, I make a ball of gray fondant and then I roll the edge of it down. And this will make a cone shape. I then roll a very thin piece of gray fondant. And then I add some water going all the way around towards the top. And then attach my uh, thin gray piece. and then I just cut off the bottom excess of it. The last piece is the arm, and I take green fondant and roll it into a cylinder. I take my rolling pin and press on the end of my green cylinder. I then take my X-Acto knife and cut out a tiny triangle. Then I smooth out my edges. This will give you almost like a mitten look. And then I bend the arm. And then I add a few indents onto the sleeve. Last, I roll out a piece of silver fondant and wrap that around the wrist and I cut off the excess. And then I make a row of dots. One row on the top and one row on the bottom. And now that we have all three of our pieces, we will put it all together. Now I had to refrigerate my cupcake because I'm in Florida and my icing would have probably melted. Um, so my icing is stiff 
and then I add the head on top. Next, I add the arm on the side and then the drill. And then later, I actually brush some edible red coloring just because it looks way better that way. And there you have it, little sister and big daddy. Like I said, um, these are what I call cupcake toppers. Um, I do them on my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you a lot for watching. Bye.